Welcome to this lecture. In this lecture, we will go to our view of unary and set operations. These are the two tables. So by using these two tables, we are going to perform all the operations. The first table name is R and the second table name is S. I am going to explain unary operations and set operations by using these two tables. You know that unary operations are performed in a single relation while binary operations performed on two relations or tables. So the first operation is the unary operation which is selection operation. is the type of unary operation. So the table name is R. small sigma which indicates that selection operation is going to perform and predicate our condition is name is equal to Fahim Irfan so we are going to select a record where name is equal to Fahim Irfan from a relation name is R and the result is in black table so the selection operation indicate that select where name is equal to Fahim Irfan from relation R for implementation open XAMPP server create two tables so the first one is R and the structure of R is here name address gender birth date name is equal to varchar address gender birth date and the structure of S is also same as the structure of R, name, address, gender, birth date. Insert data same as it is Fahim Irfan, Hira Shafiq and here is Fahim Irfan which is common in both tables and Imran Khan. So go to console clear it and Execute the query and result is here. Fahim Irfan record is selected. Now we are going toward our second operation and which is projection operation. Here is the projection operation. So by using projection operation we can select specific columns. So the relational algebra for projection operation is here. Pi indicate the projection operation. Name and address are the column names and R is the relation. So what is mean by this relational algebra statement is select name and or address from R. So select name and address both from relation R and the result is in black table name and address is selected. So implemented database is selected test data. Execute the query name and address is selected from R. In set operations, so the first operation is union operation. Relational algebra statement is 
By using projection operation, we can select only name from R and union indicates that the union operation is going to perform. And by using projection operation, we can select name from S relation. So in union operation, we are going to select all record and union operation eliminates the common records in both tables. So in result, which is in black table, Fahim Irfan is selected from R and Hira Shafiq is selected from R and Fahim Irfan already selected which is from R. So it is duplicate record. So it is eliminated and Imran Khan is selected in black table which is R union S by using projection operation. Select the database, test data and after that select name from table R. Press Ctrl plus Enter and the result is same according to black table. Fahim Irfan, Hira Shafiq and Imran Khan are selected. And the next operation is difference operation. So what is the relational algebra for difference operation? projection name so by using projection we can select name from relation r minus sign indicates the difference operation and now we are going to r minus s which means that fahim irfan minus fahim irfan so fahim irfan will not be included in result table so the only hira shafiq is in result because Fahim Irfan is eliminated because of different suppression. So now we are going toward implementation. one is intersection operation intersection operation is inverse of difference operation so what is relational algebra for intersection operation so by using projection pi name which means that we are going to select name from R name column from R and here is the indication sign for intersection and projection pi name from s so intersection operation going to select those records which are in both so like fahim irfan is in both tables so fahim irfan is selected and now we are going to word implementation select the database and select
record is selected successfully. Last one in set operations is Cartesian product or Cartesian operation. So the number of rows in R multiplied by number of rows in S is equal to result which is result in all the rows in result table. So let's suppose R contains 2 rows and S also 2. So 2 multiplied by 2 is equal to 4 rows. Select the database and after selecting the database Execute the query and result is here.